What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1, and this is a Tesla video. This is about the Plaid Model S at the Nürburgring. It just went 173 miles an hour. That's super fast. This is the fastest Tesla Model S Plaid ever, and it's not fully unlocked. So yes, Tesla has been known to be taking their Plaid Model S or their prototype to the Nürburgring and they wanted to beat Porsche. This all happened before when someone said, yeah, the Tesla's fast, but the Porsche can go around the track faster. And maybe it can on certain tracks, but the Nürburgring is something that they test because it's a 28, a little over 28 mile track. I think it actually goes through different countries in Europe. I'm not positive, but it, it's just an amazing track. And that's where a lot of people test their vehicles. So Elon heard uh, Porsche talking bad about the Model S saying it can only do a couple laps uh, around a track before it overheats and they took their prototype early on to the Nürburgring and did some great runs on there and oh of course in the process beat the Porsche Taycan. Well this time they took their brand new Plaid Model S uh, with pretty much the same spec that you can buy at home. Still had the yoke steering wheel, still had all the carbon fiber interior, had the seats, except they did have a racing seat in there. I didn't see a roll cage, which I thought you kind of had to to go those speeds. But so this is pretty much off the shelf Tesla Model S Plaid, which is pretty amazing because yes, it has the 21 inch wheels. It probably has some better tires than what you can get now, uh, but it has the same air suspension, I believe. It's got some prototype software, uh, the track package that they have on there, which unlocks some of the power, probably uh, probably has track mode where you can adjust the uh, traction control because race car drivers don't like traction control. They'll probably take that off and you can see it is probably off because he is sawing at the steering wheel, or I guess this yoke. He is going back and forth, so it's amazing the the concentration and the ability of these race car drivers to not freak out doing 150 miles an hour and getting sideways to be able to go around this track like this. Absolutely amazing. Hats off, I'm not wearing a hat, but amazing job driving this way. I mean, I've been on a track, a small track, a few times, and to be able to go these speeds, I mean half of these speeds, well, half of these speeds is pretty normal, but. So they started the run at 94% battery. Yes, he's driving full out on a racetrack. It's not about efficiency whatsoever. So he got down to 57% at the end of the 28 miles. That's actually pretty good. 37% uh, of the battery is used at the speeds he was going, at the force he was going, uh, at the force he was going, a thousand horsepower. He was in drag strip mode. Absolutely amazing. Seven minutes and 35 seconds of full balls to the wall. I, I could not do that. I personally probably could not sit in the passenger seat while he did that. I would be freaking out. Plus I would add about 200 pounds of weight, which would screw his time up. And 37%, what is that? About 135 miles. He used 135 miles to go 30 miles. That's definitely not efficiency. I wish they had the main screen up there because I'd love to see the watt hour per mile that they had. It's got to be well over a thousand. I'd love to see the computer, but really they had a display in front of the binnacle display because, well, for one, he needed a little bit more information and they had a GPS module up on the dash to show the exact mile per hour. So you see the speedometer of the car go to 179 miles an hour, or no, no, I'm sorry, 279 kilo, kilometers per hour. That is 173 miles per hour, but I don't think that was accurate because, well, when you look at their GPS data, their GPS data is more accurate. That was, uh, that peaked out at 269 miles per hour, which is 167 miles per hour. And that's pretty much what the car is limited to right now, software wise. That being said, when they unlock this full potential of 200 miles an hour, they are gonna get in the sixes, I believe, on this track. Absolutely amazing. They can get under the seven minute mark. They're gonna have to have some special tires for that because this thing was squealing tires the entire time. This thing is super heavy. 5,000 pound vehicle being slid around like that. Those tires were probably toast after one lap. In the news about a couple weeks ago, they, have, they were testing a black one and a red one at the track. And the red one actually crashed, which I believe this one is the red one. Uh, you can't really see the outside and uh, color of the car, but up on the windshield, the windshield is cracked and it looks like they hit the driver's side front of the one they were testing and they obviously fixed it, but 
the windshield is cracked on this car. So I think it's pretty amazing. You should watch this video, click the link, watch Tesla's video on this, the whole thing through. I'm speeding through this because I'm talking over it, but absolutely amazing to have basically a car off the shelf, an amazing car off the shelf. And yes, I, I love Tesla. I love the Plaid Model S. If, if you are looking to go super fast, this is the only car to get. This is just raw power that you can take to work every day, that you can scare your friends with, that you can just enjoy or creep along anytime. This is the car for you, if you can afford it. But just keep in mind, it's gonna get better. The car's gonna get better. Software update, you're gonna be able to go 200 miles an hour. You need special tires for that, but you're gonna be able to go 200 miles an hour. And there's different places you can do that. When I was gonna get the Plaid Model S, I actually planned to go to some standing half mile runs where you start from zero and you go half mile. And I think you probably could get to 200 miles. There's also standing mile runs where you'd cap that thing out at 200 miles an hour. And that would be absolutely ridiculous to go to. Uh, and we're gonna see those cars once, we're gonna see these cars do that once they unlock this full potential. Probably watch Drag Times videos or something like that. He's gonna do something crazy with that. I mean, he's not gonna submarine his car like some other guy on the internet doing that. Drag Times makes some really good videos and I'm sure he's gonna max his car out. Whether it's illegally on the streets of, uh, he's in Florida, maybe he goes to Cuba to do this, but he's gonna have some really cool videos with this. So again, watch, the, watch Tesla's video, click the link, watch it, uh, and uh, even if you can't afford this vehicle, it's amazing to see the progress of technology, the progress of, the, of what Tesla's doing uh, to their powertrains and the batteries. Now they just need to work on the quality of the interior. As always, stay awesome, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.